Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Anti Gorgeous here with another video. Let's make sure that we're subscribed to my channel because I feel like there's a lot of people still sleep on me. And while you're at it, just like this video even though you haven't finished watching it. I know, I know. But that helps me get out there in the YouTube world and that helps others see my videos. I know it's been a while but you know every other week I get uninspired and I don't want to film, I don't want to post, I want to do nothing but I'm back this look is kind of inspired by Nikki tutorials with her little cartoon liner but I wanted to spice it up with this sunset -y eyeshadow to go with it and I got some rhinestones to go with it so if you're interested in knowing how to create this look just keep watching the video but yeah let's just get started I'm going to jump right into the tutorial. I'm going to be using this LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in neutral. I wanted to use a very light concealer to make sure that these colors pop. That is basically the key to using bright colors on brown skin. You have to use a very light concealer. And then I'm just going to set it with my Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to be using my Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to be first using this yellow and then the orange. With both of these shades I had to go over three times just to get the pigment that I wanted but I'm going to place this orange right underneath the yellow but still in my crease area. Using my Lime Crime Venus eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be first using Muse, which is a very deep maroon color. And then I'm going to take Icon, which is a dark brown shade, just to deepen my crease. And I'm just going to still focus these colors in the same areas, but I'm putting each shadow right underneath each other. Every once in a while, you want to make sure that all of those colors are blended. So I'm just taking that first eyeshadow brush I use and going back and forth in my crease, blending everything together. Now to cut out my cut crease, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, and this is in Milk. And I wanted to use white again to make those colors pop. And I'm going to set it with a, a white eyeshadow, I'm sorry. So I'm just packing that right on top of that. I'm going to now go back in with that yellow and I'm taking this yellow a little over half of my lid so I'm just packing that on again I went over at least three times to get the yellow shade that I wanted and then I'm going to take that orange on the end of my eye and I'm going to place it on top of the yellow it's just kind of giving it an ombre effect and then I'm also going to go back in with that brown shade because I lost some of the brown and I want that end to be more defined so I'm just using a small eyeshadow um, brush and doing that so I'm taking this eyeshadow pigment by Mac Daddy. He did a collaboration with Pure and this is in, this is in Dynasty. It's a gold shade and I'm going to use this to go inside of my cartoon eyeliner. I'm first going, well I'm secondly going to um, actually draw my wing liner and I'm using the NYX Black Matte Eyeliner and then I'm going to go back in with that gold shade and just fill it in. Now my rhinestones are in this little container. I'm using my NYX Glitter glue and I'm going to basically just add about five rhinestones on top of that gold just to give it an extra little shine. Now the lashes that I'm putting on are by Doodle Lashes. These are the D318 lashes. These are one of my favorite lashes right now. After I apply my lashes I put mascara on just to blend my lashes with the false lashes. To start on my foundation, I am using my favorite foundation as of right now. This is the Lancome Tinted Idol Foundation. My color is in 540 Sue W and I'm just going to blend this all over my face with my damp beauty sponge. I'm not really going to go so much into my foundation routine because this tutorial is mainly focused on the eyes and I feel like if you watch my videos, you've watched me do this hundreds of times so I'm just going to come back when I'm finishing all uh, my eyeshadow Uh, 
So I'm back and to finish off my eye, I'm taking Muse and just putting it on my um, bottom lash line and then I'm putting some mascara on and then I'm just going to pop on some highlight. Um, the highlight that I'm using is the Diamond Glow Powder and Conceited. And that is basically it for this whole tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's late every day. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.